What's going on everyone, Kellen Rack here. Today I wanna to show you how to open a new Premiere Pro project in an older version. This is gonna be using a Mac. So you see here, we've got the latest Premiere Pro project file. This is someone who sent it to me on the latest version of Premiere. And in this example, I'll try to open this up and I do not have the latest version on this computer. You can see here we get a pop-up. The project was saved in a newer version of Adobe Premiere Pro and cannot be opened in this version. So there is an easy workaround for this and I'm gonna show you right now. It doesn't take very long at all. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is download an application called Kika. It's free and it's basically a file archiver that's going to help us later on in this project. So go ahead and download and install that and we will jump back to that in just a moment. The next step is to duplicate or copy and paste your Premiere Pro project. So we want to make a second version of it just so we have a backup version in case anything goes wrong. Nothing will go wrong, but we just like to do this to be safe. So using your copy here, the first step we're gonna do now is change our file extension from PRPROJ to .zip. And we will use the .zip, and then once it's already in that zip form, you're just gonna double click on it to decompress it. So now you should have a text file that is a copy of your Premiere Pro project. So now you can right click that text file and we'll open with text edit. You could use any text editor program on your computer, but in this case, text edit is just the easiest. We're gonna to go to the fourth string here. You can see these angled brackets are uh, the start of each string. So one, two, three, four. And at the end of this fourth one, you will see a version number. We wanna change this version number to one. We want it to be the very first version of Adobe Premiere Pro. So then you'll hit Command S to save. You could also go to File Save. Now you wanna open up Kika, which is the program we downloaded at the beginning. And you wanna make sure you're on GZIP. So let's make sure we're on gzip here, and then you'll just drag your edited text file over that, and it will basically create a .gz file. So make sure it's saving to the location you know. And now we have a compressed version of that text edit. So now the last step, all you have to do is again change that last file extension from gz back to prproj use PRPROJ, and now you have a Premiere Pro project. So when we open it, it's gonna basically try to convert the project up from version one to whatever version you're on on your computer. But see, without any issues, we open the project up. So that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. We'll check you back in the next one.